the mile, and West Indian cricket star Gary Sobers. Chaplin reportedly had rejected previous offers of knighthood, but his son-in-law said the ailing entertainer is now very happy to receive it. Around Hertford, North Carolina today, the talk was about hometowner Jim Catfish Hunter, who flew up to the Big Apple last night, signed some papers, and came home with a reported $3,750,000. In return, all he has to do is throw baseballs for the New York Yankees. Ed Bradley reports. New Year's Eve was a banner day for Catfish Hunter, not the happiest of his life, mind you, that was in the World Series, but a close second. The contract he signed with the Yankees is probably the biggest given to any player in a team sport. What was the prime consideration, aside from money, in deciding to go with the Yankees? Well, I think uh, to be a Yankee is a thrill in everybody's heart and mind to be a ball player and play for the Yankees, and that's what I wanted to do. And, and I always wanted to be here in uh, New York and play, and plus, they got uh, regular grass, they haven't got AstroTurf, plus they got a new stadium coming up, which the old stadium, you know, just to get in that was such a thrill that uh, when you walked in there, it feel like cold shivers ran all over you, so it's just great to be in New York with the Yankees. Been looking for a right-hand pitcher in Hunter. We have the winner of the 1974 Cy Young Award. I don't think we can do better than that. Catfish, how much Congratulations. Did you what does a guy do to celebrate such an event? Back home in Hertford, North Carolina, there were no welcome home parades in this small town. In fact, you could stand on the main street and count the number of people who passed. But it's not because Jimmy, as they call him here, is not well liked. Down in this part of the woods, most of the men are out hunting deer. And somewhere out there, knee deep in a swamp, is Jim Catfish Hunter, new millionaire. With their packs of dogs and two-way radios, the hunters stake out the woods, trying to flush out the deer. Down here, Catfish is just one of the boys, as he's been all of his life. His brother, Pete Hunter. I was talking to my mother-in-law last night about it, signing and all, and I said, it, she said, how does it feel to have a millionaire in the family? And I said, I never would know that he is a millionaire, knowing him, you know. She said, well, that's good. You don't think it'll change it? No, no, I certainly don't. It hadn't changed him today. And it, if it was me, I think I'd be jumping up and down. I'd forget <laughs> What do you do the day after you signed a contract for almost $4 million? Well, if it's the last day of the deer hunting season and you happen to be catfish hunter, obviously you take out your dogs and hunt those deer. And maybe spend the next few days hunting your dogs. Ed Bradley, Chinkapin Road, Perquimans County, North Carolina. Jack Benny, who kidded himself for being a tightwad, has left his treasured Stradivarius violin to the Los Angeles Philharmonic. The bulk of his fortune, estimated in the millions of dollars, will go to his family. His widow, Mary Livingston, is to receive $100,000, plus an income of $10,000 a month.